Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're reviewing a new video game peripheral called the Stinky Board. <laughs> Smells all right to me. Well, guys, I've actually been wanting to review this product for a really long time. And the main reason is it's a footboard that goes under your desk that allows you to basically actuate keystrokes with your feet. And it supports up to four different keystrokes that you can map to the different axes. And uh, I'd find that incredibly useful in games because I find myself always fumbling when I'm playing a game trying to, like, crouch or duck or prone while throwing a grenade. Um, I want to map some of those harder actions for me to reach consistently to my feet so that I can just basically be under my desk and it'll be more of a natural, uh, kind of a natural reaction for me in the game to basically prone or crouch or even switch to my primary weapon because I fumble with all those things horribly in FPS. So the goal is for this to improve my gameplay. So let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look at it. The box is actually really, really nice. Has some cool information on the back. Um, pretty much says that you can adjust the tension on it so that you can actuate the buttons uh, with as little or as great a force as you want. And it says it has software and everything. We'll set all that up. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do some gaming and see if it actually helps. Uh, first things first, we gotta open the box. Hello, knife, where are you? I need you, knife. Well, I can't find my knife. I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on so tight. So we're going to use a file. This is a first. Have you ever seen somebody open a box with a file? I just filed a box open. How cool is that, right? YouTube first. Now watch you guys go find a video where somebody already did it. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. It's actually a really nice box. Oh, wow, that's cool. So that's the stinky board right there. First thing I can tell you is there's a metal plate on the surface. Um, and it looks like it has three s sets of springs. It's got blue springs, it's got green springs, and it's got spring steams. No, I'm just kidding, red springs. Um, I'm sure those are all different tensions, so let's go ahead and pull out the board. It's actually a really, really nice packaging. I'm not used to seeing packaging this nice. Um, first thing I'll tell you is it's heavy. You know, I kind of expected it to be just kind of a cheap plastic thing because it didn't, but no, it, it seems really heavy. So we don't need the box anymore, so we'll just chuck that. Um, so here we have the springs and the board itself here. And like I said, it's got some serious weight to it. It looks like, uh, let's see, how do you connect it? Okay, so there's where the USB cable connects, which comes in the bag right down here at the bottom. And it looks like it has a little LED to indicate that it's powered or connected properly. And the first thing I noticed just sitting on it is I can actuate it with my hand and it takes a fairly firm amount of pressure. But all of that's configurable through tensioning these little dials right here, at least according to the back of the box. <laughs> um, and as for the springs, uh, these are obviously, these are really soft springs. The blues, the greens are intermediate. And the reds are Goliath, Bigfoot, Smash, Hulk Smash Springs. So we can play around with swapping out the springs too and see if that makes any big difference. But right now the stock setup is pretty cool. I'd say that's actually a decent amount of pressure. It's enough to where you can rest the weight of your, your arm and your hand on it, which I'd imagine you can rest your foot on it too. And it's not enough to actuate it. You still have to click it. And you can use it in either orientation. You can use it in this orientation or you can use it in this orientation. So if you want more of a kind of pedal back and forth, left and right with your foot, you can do that. Or if you want something that's like using both feet, you want to actuate with both feet, you can do that too. So it looks like there's a lot of diversity to this controller. So anyways, there's not much more to look at. I mean, it is what it is. It's just a controller. What really counts is how well we can configure it and how well it works in game. So let's go ahead and just get right to it, guys. All right, guys, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 2 open right now, getting ready to join a match, and I have the stinky board configured right now. So basically, you can see my foot right here. This is going to be crouch. This is going to be prone. This is going to be throw grenade. And this guy right here is supposed to be switched to primary weapon. So you can map them however you want, but I figured for a first try, this would be pretty cool. So let's go find a match, and we'll do hardcore. All right, guys, you can see right now I'm in game. This is going to be a hardcore match. And you can see with the We've stinky board control. down here, all I have to do is just put a little pressure on my heel to click it, and I can crouch down. That's what I have it configured for right now. Or if I want to run over here and I want to lay down, I can just push forward like that. Now I'm on the ground, push it again, and I'm back up on my feet. I can also swing my knife 
Oh, actually, that's grenade. Sorry. So that's my grenade right there. Or I can come over here and push this side and swing my knife. And you can configure it any way you want. You can even set it up to pulse the keys. So if you want it to do like rapid fire or something like that, you can. Um, looking at the software, it didn't look like it supports mouse keys. So you can't do like rapid clicking. Uh, but I hope that they add that to a future software update. Cause that would be really cool. All right, see, so we got quite a few people on the server. So anyways, you can see now I can run over here. If I want to crouch down, I just put pressure. And then as soon as I release, got him. And let's say I wanted to lay down behind this. You know, all I got to do is just shift my weight forward. So and let's get back up, run, crouch, find something, run. You know, I want to get down quick and crouch. It leaves my fingers free for other operations, which is actually really cool. Because I always fumble around with crouching and proning. I get I get my fingers tied up pretty easily. All right, so I'm right here. Oh, oh I'm getting shot at here. And there's a guy right there. Let's see if we can flank him. Okay, I'm going to crouch down. Oh, there he is. Got him. All right, reloading. Run him for cover. See if I can get down right here. It's actually a really natural motion. I'm surprised nobody's done this before. It's like the best I've ever done at COD. And <laughs> I just started. Um, it's it's actually a really, really easy motion to do. And it doesn't tire your legs. My leg's actually resting on the board. And you can change out the springs. So if you got a really heavy leg or something or the way that you sit... You can you can adjust it you know pretty much infinitely to get it the way you want the spring tension and uh, you know all the resistance and all that and it looks like it's independent too. It's actually really really cool. You can see, you can just oh, do, 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 do. lay down, get up. Oh shit, bounce him, Betty. There he is. Get him. Get him. See, I ducked down right there. It was, it's actually really really nice. I like it. I'm surprised somebody hasn't done something like this before. Um, cause it's, it's a really, really simple concept if you think about it. I mean, it's basically four switches out of a keyboard adapted to, you know, this, this, this awesome, I mean, it's really good build quality, but adapted with, uh, springs for tension and in a nice weighted high quality board that sits on the floor that doesn't move around. It's actually pretty non-skid, which is nice. And your foot just rests on it. I'm and if you, sick of this and asshole, if you want to throw a grenade, it's kind of cool. Cause you know, normally I'd have to take my finger off D to reach over and hit G to throw the grenade so I couldn't be strafing. Now I can actually strafe while I'm throwing the grenade, which is cool. Of course, I'm out of grenades now. Um, and then, like, my knife <laughs> motion is actually nice because it's over here to the side, and you can actuate it just by sliding your foot over and clicking it. So two, two of the motions are very, very natural, like forward and back, right? I mean, it, it's just like rocking. It's like a teeter-totter. Um, the other two motions take a little bit more force. you got to roll your foot out. Uh, but you can also use it in any orientation that you want. Get up. Uh, which is cool. But even just taking the pressure off of crouch and grenade is like a huge win for me. Because I always struggle with that. Like, oh. Be advised, hostile UAV Almost didn't even see him. You know, I always struggle with that. And, you know, I always get like tied. My, my fingers get all tied up. I'm like, I lose track of my keyboard. And I'm sure professional players don't have that problem. But... How nice would it be to free up your fingers just to always be able to move? Always. Well, you're, you know, you don't, you don't have to take another finger and risk going off of your other keys. I don't know how big of a problem that is for other people, but for me, it's a huge problem, and this solves it. And plus, if you're disabled, if you're somebody who's disabled and has limited mobility in your fingers, oh, this could be a huge solution because you could actually map WASD to this board on the ground. You could put your feet on it like this, oh, man, and literally maneuver yourself if you wanted to, just like that. And I think that would actually be really cool too. Or if you're just lazy and want to eat a sandwich and free up your hands so you can eat a sandwich while you're playing the game, you technically could do that. So I see this as being a huge, ah, damn it. Didn't even see him. I see this as being a huge win for people that are disabled. And through the software, uh, like I showed you after installing the drivers, you can map anything you want on the keyboard and you can actually have it pulse the key. You can specify the rate at how fast you want it to pulse it. You can make it a key down motion, like a key hold. So when you push down, it holds the key and release it. Or you can make it to where you push down and it just represents one key press down and up. Or you can unbind it. So like, let's say you only want to use forward and back and you don't want to risk accidentally hitting this guy, for instance. You could do that. And the software is incredibly easy to use. It's really lightweight. Doesn't seem to get in the way at all, which I like. 
I don't like software that's incredibly complicated, has millions of options, 100 gigabytes to download. It's it's just it's overkill. This this thing is just perfect. It does what it says. Oh crap! Oh, they caught me. Now I have my peripheral vision from surround really screwed me on that one. But yeah, guys, I I urge you to try this out. That's really cool. Oh, let's see. I should crush it. Oh damn it! There's another one. I was gonna go hunt him. It's it's actually a really really cool concept, and it's more natural than I thought it would be. I thought it'd take you know there'd be a huge learning curve to it. There isn't. <laughs> there really isn't. I stuck it under my desk, mapped it, and it's like I have a natural tendency to just want to use my foot to crouch. What's really cool? Oh, damn it. I'm not seeing these guys. They're wising up to me. All right, I need to be a little bit more cautious. Staying close to the building. Okay, let's run. Okay, get down, crouch. Okay, run. Timeline is in jeopardy. I don't care. All right, let's see. Run up behind the cop car, crouch. Run over here, chuck a nade. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Woohoohoo! Stinky board! Getting my stinky board on your face. Oh, you like that? Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, it's so much more gratifying doing it with your foot. Oh. Hardcore team deathmatch. Hey, some food just magically appeared on my Report desk. God, it's nice being married. Okay, so now I should be able to use these side buttons here. Oh, what are your weapons? How do you select your weapons in this damn game? Tacticals are empty. What, this is all I got? Oh, it's mouse up to change the buttons. God, I keep getting messed up with Battlefield. So, oh, I didn't know that. You could actually, you can actually lean? What? Really? I just found that out now, guys. I didn't know that you could actually, like, come up to a corner and lean out. How cool is that? You should buy, I should bind that to this and this. Let's see, what is lean? It's Q, Q and E. Q and E or lean. So, here, dude. Can I go hide behind your building here? All right, thank you. All right, let's go map Q and E. All right, so I need one to be Q, three to be E. Save. All right, back to the game. Now I should be able to lean with my feet while I'm crouching, which I think is actually really cool. So there, yep. So there you go. So now I've got le leaning abilities. I could even use both feet if I want to. All right, cool. So run over here, crouch down, lean out. Let's see, can you crouch and lean at the same time? Okay, it looks like you can only actuate one axis at a time. So you can't mix them. You can't say, I want to do both of those things. So for leaning, it probably wouldn't be that helpful. Because uh, you can lean one direction or the other, and you can't actuate two at a time. Oh, we got some guys up there. Grenade! Oh, they're going to try to run around and flank me. Here we go, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. There you go. Oh, that was my guy. Whew! Almost killed him. Team killing is so easy on hardcore mode. Oh my god, that pizza my wife just brought up here smells so good. Ah! Oh, what happened? The fuck was that? What, did I trip over something? Oh, you got me. Lightning strike coordinates received, inbound. So you guys, you can also use the board in this orientation if you want. So if you'd rather have, if you have a bigger foot and you want like a bigger rock or you want to be able to rock your foot side to side easier. See what Friendly MQ-27 Dragonfire deployed. You can do that. It's pretty much infinitely configurable. A lot of ideas are coming into my head for this thing. I might even use it on the driving simulator just to have, you know, a large surface that I can just push to, you know, commit actions instead of having to use huge you know small little keys on a keyboard the coolest thing about it by far and i know this sounds like i mean it's it's capable of so much more but literally just having that ability that ability to just push and crouch to me is just huge because i always slip like i go down on control i got my pinky on the control and i'm trying to do wasd and then i'm also like trying to reach and throw a grenade and it's really just an uncomfortable movement for my hand. I can't do it. It's like playing a chord on a piano. It just doesn't, and it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, I like the fact that just, it's like, I want to crouch, push down with your foot. That's like, my brain can handle that and my fingers stay exactly where they need to be and I don't get all fudged up, which is really cool. Oh. Ooh. Somebody got him through the window. Get up. Boop. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, he got me. Oh, he had a friend right behind him, too. 
would have finished the job if I'd have got him. I also thought that this would be tiring on your leg, but it really isn't because you can re you can rest your foot. I mean, you can literally bang on the bang on this thing. It's like you you can rest your foot, and then if your foot's too heavy and you find that you're just actuating the thing, just resting your leg, um, just put the heavier weight springs in it. All right, well, this should hopefully give you guys an idea of how it works. You know, you can see my foot right here. I'm moving around, and you know, I I crouch when I need to. I almost should have put a camera on the keyboard so you can see the fact that I'm not having to use my pinky anymore to hit the control key, which is actually really nice. Oh. Oh, dude, come on, please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Yes! Double tap. Double tap. Crouch around the corner. Crouch around the corner. Crouch around the barrels. Crouch and, and run. Run, 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 and crouch around the corner. And run, 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 run. And more crouching. FPS is all about crouching. I would love... Oh, crap. I'd love to hear down in the comments... Uh, what you guys are using your stinky boards for? Because I'd love to try out don't some of your down. bindings if you found some really cool things to do. But I don't think I'll ever change that from crouch because that just feels way too natural. And now I'll never be able to play an FPS without being able to crouch like that. Because that's just so much more convenient than having to drop my pinky down on the damn control key or bind it to the mouse. Because here's the problem is I bind things like mouse, uh, like the knife attack to the mouse, but every time I try to click the side buttons on the mouse, I always move off my target. It, in, you know, it interrupts me just enough. The only, I only want to hit one button on my mouse, and that's the fire, you know, and, and to zoom. I can hit the right and hold it to zoom, but for some reason, the little side buttons you got to hit with your thumb. As soon as I lift my thumb, I'm off target. Be advised. That was cool, man, but Stinky Boar, I mean, actually, I yeah, I might have came in last place, but three kills for me this. is actually quite a bit, <laughs> so... All right, well, let's check out some of the other little features of the stinky board and wrap this up, guys. Oh, mmm, that's so good. Mmm. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Here, let me put this away. All right, back to the stinky board. So, got it down here on the floor. Go ahead and pick it up. Still plugged in. Now we got a good feel for it, and we know what it's capable of. In a nutshell, you can bind a keystroke to any of the four axes you can actuate with your hand and they actually bind two real keystrokes it's kind of weird typing like this um, so like a notepad for instance if I hit it you know there's my E there's my Q control we're not gonna see there's my Z the software is really configurable you can pulse actions you can push and hold a key you can push and release a key um, and it's all really straightforward and simple now Let's get down to the hardware. Oh, and there, now we can see that little red LED in there too to indicate that it's plugged in. So let's go ahead and unplug it. Now, it comes with a tool. Um, I didn't mention this during the unboxing because I didn't see it, but it's a little Allen key. And that's so you can adjust the tension on the springs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove one of the springs. It looks like the stock springs that are in it are the green springs. So here you have a green spring, a little collet that holds it, and that's all there is to it right there. Is you see, So the green screen is the medium spring, so the blue spring is even lighter. So like for instance, I found the side to side motion a little bit difficult. Oh, and there's another washer there. But I found that side to side motion a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue spring in there. Do that, just put the little collar in there, put that over the top, compress it all down. I mean, pretty simple to do. It's kind of cool. I wish more devices were like this. Like, you don't you don't see a lot of stuff that's super configurable anymore. You know? It'd be really nice if people made more configurable stuff. Okay. Just like so. And now I notice that it takes about half the force now to actuate it on that side versus that side. So the spring actually made a huge difference. So I'm going to go ahead and change it out on the other side too. But the cool thing is each spring is individualized. So depending on how you place your stinky board on the floor and how you want to actuate it with your feet or even using both feet, you can independently change the spring on each one of these. So there's another green spring. So for this one, I'm going to go with another blue. They're pretty easy to swap out too, which is nice. You don't have to take the whole damn thing apart. Okay. 
And there you go, and it's got rubber feet on it. They worked really well on the carpet, but I'd imagine they'd work even better on a hardwood floor, something like that. So now, now it's very soft to actuate. It actually almost feels like there's blue springs in these ones. I just wanna check and see if I can confirm that because the front to back was harder to actuate. And sure enough, I was right. So the stock setup is you have green springs lengthwise and you have blue springs widthwise. And it even comes with some heavy red springs. So if you want to really have to stomp on that sucker to get it to actuate, you can do it. So guys, this is this is actually a really awesome product. Uh, I'm going to be using this in uh, all my gaming videos now because it's very convenient. You throw it under the desk, you plug it into a single USB port. The software is non-intrusive. And you can even set it up for different profiles for different games. So when you open up, say you open up Warcraft, you could use your foot to basically cast spells, healing spells, or anything like that. You could even use it for like spamming a keystroke um, if you wanted to. And I haven't tried it personally, but since it just emulates a keyboard, essentially any macro program that uses a keyboard, you could use this and you could just bind macro. So instead of you having to hit F12 on your keyboard or F11, you could actually start the macro just by pushing this, starting and stopping it. Um, so I'm going to find all kinds of crazy cool stuff to do with this stinky board. The build quality is fantastic. The only downsides that I found with it is you, it didn't seem like you could actuate two axes at the same time. I'm going to contact them and see if you're supposed to be able to. But so far I've only been able to get it to activate one axis at a time. And I thought it would be kind of cool if you could get like the eight direction pad like right now it's a four direct four direction pad but it'd be cool if you could get it like an eight direction pad because then you could set it up to truly replace wasd but plugging it in right here let's let it detect yeah and you can only actuate one axis at a time i, I kind of wish that you could actuate two axes at a time because that way you could actually, you know, really replace WASD. Um, you still can, because you can go backwards, forwards, left and right, more like a tank, but you can't do that, that diagonal motion. So my advice to Stinky is if you guys make a new revision to this, it'd be awesome if it had that eight directional uh, sensitivity, or sorry, ability. And the only other thing that I would add to it is uh, maybe even do something with pressure along the way. And then the third thing that I would do, the only other downside I saw is that you can only bind to uh, keyboard keys. I think it'd be cool if you could also bind to mouse keys too. So like I could say the left mouse button, this is the left mouse button and this is the right mouse button. If I could do that, that would be awesome. But aside from those three tiny, tiny little things, I can honestly say that for the price, this is a badass controller. This is metal. This is super, super heavy plastic. The base is super heavy. It feels like it's got a freaking stone in the bottom of it. And it's actually really easy to use and really set up. And I think anybody that used one of these would agree that it actually gives you a huge advantage in FPS because it, everything that frees up a finger to do something else is a great thing. So guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. I had a lot of fun reviewing this product. This is I, I kind of rate this up there with the butt kicker as something that just gives you more immersion into the game and also just like improves the experience all around. And I consider myself completely fortunate to have one of these and to be able to actually sit in front of the computer with a butt kicker under my seat, three 46 inch monitors and play these games and have it just pounding away at me while I'm pounding away on this thing. So anyways, guys, till next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Pack up their big beastly heavy ass machine and their monitors. Hoof it over to their friend's house or just some public venue. Drink a lot of beer, usually, depending on your age. And uh, frag the hell out of each other. And try not to break anything in the process. So, one of the cool things about LAN parties is you get, to you get to utilize the full potential of your computer, right? You're not using a laptop. Because people take laptops to LAN parties. Come on, a laptop will never beat out a desktop. Ever. Yes, could a laptop beat out a crappy desktop? Yes. But, I mean, if they're both high-end, no way is the laptop going to touch it.